Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. The regular viewers of my channel know that my primary focus is on machine learning and deep learning, but I write little snippets of code to make certain tasks easy so I can automate these highly manual tasks that I really don't want to do. And one such task I happened to run into a couple of days ago where I was getting a whole bunch of emails on a specific theme. And I wanted to extract information from these different emails and dump them into an Excel sheet. For example, in my case, these emails contain certain information like, for example, name of uh, uh, the individual trying to contact me, their company name and their email address and uh, any message that they would like to share with me. So they were filling some sort of an online form and I'm getting all this information. But I got like 50, 60, 70 of these emails. Like, how do I how do I extract all of these? So I wrote a little snippet of code that goes through my Outlook inbox, searches for exactly what I'm looking for, looks at the text, identifies, OK, this is where the name is, and then extracts the name and everything I capture into a list that I convert into a pandas data frame and eventually save that into an Excel sheet. This entire process is very simple. I'm going to share the code with you so you can just change elements of this email, uh, sorry, of the code so you can customize it for your sake. So let's go ahead and jump into the code and uh, go through this uh, step by step. Okay, and before jumping into the code, let me just show you the type of emails I'm talking about. And in fact, in this case, I sent an email to myself from my Gmail account. That's a different nightmare, I should mention. Uh, to my Gmail, I get 40, 50, 60 emails per day. And initially I used to keep up, but right now I can't keep up with every email as much as I would like to help people who are trying to reach out. So I'll talk about Gmail in my next tutorial, but I use the same, uh, my email address to send an email to my office address, to my, uh, to my uh, Outlook address. And here is the structure of the email. First of all, the subject is from Srini, so that's, from me and within that there is uh, this is all the text and I have let's say 1000 such emails I can just go to individual email copy the, the name and then place it in an excel sheet and all that so I have to extract in an automat automated way and that is exactly the focus of the next uh, 10 minutes or so okay so now that you know how the email looks like I want to capture all this information into an excel that's the task yeah let's jump into our uh, code now so first of all, I'm using Python 3.9.7, pretty much the latest as of uh, almost the end of February 2022. I don't think it matters because this should even work in 3.7 or even older versions, although I, sh I did not check on every version, obviously. The library that we are going to uh, that we are going to use as of uh, you know for this specific task is win32.com. So go ahead and import win32.com.client, and uh, let us uh, define. In fact, let's define our current working directory. This is my trick. When I do that, it says okay, there is an error, but then it changes my current working directory to wherever I'm working. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this line and nothing there and i'm also importing pandas because once i extract the information i want to use pandas to capture the information into a data frame that i would like to convert into a uh, uh, an excel uh, document okay so i'm importing pandas then first we need to define the outlook object this is key right so there's no username password right now because i'm on the same computer i have my outlook open and everything so everything works in the back end in terms of uh, uh, username and password because you're not logging into any imap or any pop servers it's just looking at your existing outlook and extracting information from a specified folder like inbox for example so no need to worry about uh, usernames and passwords so here, let's uh, from our w2 uh, win32com client, let's go ahead and uh, import the method dispatch. And here you have to define exactly what uh, uh, what uh, application you are looking at. So in this case, uh, in uh, in my Windows application, I want to access my Outlook application, and this get namespace mappy is pretty much the deep map mappy map i. I don't know how you say it, but this is pretty much the default. If you look at the documentation, they're like. Okay, uh, MAPI is the default, but don't worry about it. Just copy this line and you're good. 
I'm not explaining the ins and outs of how to do this. I'm just explaining how you can easily automate uh, your, uh, your email fetching operation. So eventually my goal here is I'm defining uh, my Outlook uh, object. So let's go ahead and run this line. And now the Outlook object is created. So the next thing, you can go ahead and print the folder names, right? I mean, from Outlook, once the object is created, now within that object, you can just fetch your folders. And for each of the folders uh, uh, that, you, that, that it finds, go ahead and print the folder name. Why? Maybe you just want to know what folders are there. So you can define a specific folder down here. Since my plan is looking into the inbox, so the inbox is given a default folder value of six. Don't ask me why, but that's the default value. So I'm defining my inbox as Outlook object. Within Outlook object, get default folder, six right there. Yeah, so let's go ahead and run that line. Now my inbox is defined. So now my Python knows within my Outlook, finding inbox. So within the inbox, I would like to fetch all the messages. So let's go ahead and look at inbox.items. And now I have all the messages fetched. Okay, now what? So I already mentioned that my test email looks like this. I included this because I'm going to share uh, the code with you. So you know exactly how my input, my email uh, message looks like. Yours obviously would look something different. So go ahead and modify accordingly. So I sent a few mails in this format. I sent three mails in this format to my Outlook and let's go ahead and fetch that. So how do you do that? First of all, I would like to capture in this email, I have name, company, email, and message that I would like to capture. So I'm creating these four empty lists. There are many ways you can capture this. This is how I chose to define for now. And uh, the obviously what we are going to do is going through each email extracting that text and capturing it into this empty list and we are going to convert the list into a pandas data frame that's it so how do we do that so first of all let's go ahead and execute these four lines there you go so our empty lists are created and now from each remember we have our messages right here which is nothing but inbox items all our messages i don't want to look at all my messages i want to look at only the ones that have a subject of from Srini. Remember, that's exactly that's exactly our subject uh, for this email, for these emails that we are interested. In your case, you may be interested in something else. You may be interested in uh, message dot sender name. Hey, get, fetch all the emails from this specific sender or all the emails that came in within this time uh, time frame. Whatever it is, go ahead and run your if loop through that specific criteria that you have. In my case, I already mentioned. My subject is from Srini. Okay, now what? You have a message. Go ahead and extract the text. You can extract many things, but let's go, uh, like for example, date and time. What time and date did this email come uh, come at, right? So that uh, I commented that out, but you can go ahead and extract that information. But in my case, all the information I need is within my text, the body of my email. That's why I'm curious about, or that's why I'm getting message.body. This gives me the text of this entire message. And now it's just a matter of uh, figuring out uh, if I have a name or where do I have name colon. So now I'm just uh, using R find to uh, search for a text called name. It searches for this text, N-A-M-E colon. And then I'll give a space. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll give six spaces, six spaces, and then read everything from there until it finds company, because in my case, the company is right there. So basically, from this point, go ahead and read the remaining part of the text until you see this company. So it's going to return me John Smith. Again, you can be creative. You can find other ways to extract the text. But this is how I chose, because I my format is pretty much the standard. And uh, that's my name. And for company, I'm going to do exactly the same within my text go ahead and find the company and start from company, go up to nine spaces later, and then end at email. So it's going from company, nine spaces, which means it starts right there, and then it stops reading until it finds the text, email, and so on. So I did that for email, I did that for body text, and within the loop, I'm going to now take my empty list, all names, and add the name that it uh, fetched from email one, email two, email three, and so on. So at the end of this, 
I will have a uh, I will have uh, all these lists uh, filled with the information. So let's go ahead and run these lines up to here up to that point and let's look at the variable explorer so you can kind of uh, see exactly what's going on yeah so it's reading through all my emails and it's trying to find these and it should find exactly three emails that's the emails i sent so you can see now i have all body text right all uh, all names all companies all email all body text this is basically the names so for example if you look at names i should have john smith elton john and bruce springsteen and what messages did they actually send? That is part of the body text. It is, hey there, getting in touch. I make cool music. Hi there, I'm the boss, yeah? So this is the text that each uh, yeah, I got from each email. Same with all company. Where are they from? They are from, I don't know, ABC International, Kickass Music, The Boss, and so on. I just uh, filled some random information. So now you got an idea. So the next part is basically creating a uh, empty data frame with column names of name, company, email, and message. Let's go ahead and do that and basically fill our uh, uh, these uh, this data frame with the with the corresponding uh, lists right there and sorry about that and uh, convert your extracted info by the way let's get this data frame so now you see you have name you have company you have your emails and message great dump it into an excel file you're all set let me dump it into an excel file run this line and uh, now I should have an Excel. So let's open the Excel sheet and see what we have there. It's opening, so let's see. There you go. So you have your name, you have the company, you have the email, oh, sorry. Uh, right there. I was doing a mistake over there. Anyway, so I hope you can see this. So isn't that cool? Now, I did this because I had literally 120 plus images, uh, sorry, uh, 120 plus emails that I got. And writing this code took about, I don't know, maybe half an hour to 40 minutes. And then I got all the information within a matter of few seconds uh, downloaded. So if you have boring tasks, if you have like manual tasks like these, go ahead and automate them. Don't waste your time trying to copy, paste, copy, paste. Uh, and uh, I'll share this code with you guys and uh, watch the next one in this series because I'm going to talk about how you can do not something similar, well, almost something similar using your Gmail. Thank you guys and hit the subscribe button.